What the hell is that? The pyramid? Are they gonna have the hotline for me here? Mm. Also, I don't know if I should be like trying to like listen in to the the employees <coughs> in terms of what they're babbling. I'm, I probably shouldn't. Okay, I'm just gonna jump on this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ranger Second Class Pulaski. Oh, I missed a lot of shots there. Hey, friend, I'm gonna melee you. Alright, two shot melee for these guys. That's good. I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if headshots would do extra damage to these guys. I'd like hope so, but it might not be that case. There's gotta be like a critical hit somewhere or something. All right, we have to clear control points of enemies that are corrupt in the land. When's the control point? What does that mean? Help me fix it. You got it. Cleanse control point. This will help out all of our employees. And if so, I'm gonna feel really bad for killing like three of them. Holy shit! You did it! We did it! Hello? Huh? Can you hear me? Are you with us? Pope! With the Bureau? Yes! Are you still sane? Oh, yes, definitely. Alright, so that's like a, a, a point that can heal me. Oh, and I can fast travel. And I can change my outfit. Cool. We only have one place right now, so uh Please, talk to me. <laughs> and we just get to accept we that. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Yeah, that's one way to refer to them. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Well, hold on. Yes? We're coming out. Okay, they already know that I'm the director. I thought they were gonna give me a choice, but I didn't see anything show up. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. <laughs> the hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. What's an HRA? You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. No, keep talking. Trench need, is dead. I need information. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. The white teller look like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. <laughs> A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and... You probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. 
But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. <laughs> maybe. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her Oh, yet. right? Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Thank you, Jesse, I guess. Still trying to figure out what the hell okay. we are as the enemy. With me? Yeah. We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay, so we just have to find a way to cleanse a hiss corrupted agent and feel bad about the people we already shot because we didn't know what the fuck they were going to do. All right. Examination of paranatural topics. Control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. Oh. These control points are discovered by blank. Detection of an unobstructed ping using the blank within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctions or blank, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that the control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology should uh, could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blanked. I wonder what the oldest house is. Also, I guess there's just a guy immediately right here. Hello! How do we cleanse you? I don't think that worked. Nope, they're gone. All right. Well, at least work. the hiss has burrowed too deep. They're kinetically dead. Ripping it out rips them apart. I don't feel as bad as before. So, research records: hiss agent. The hiss manifests in human hosts. Uh, in no numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many, many corrupted agents floating through the, throughout the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is, that they, is the fact that they levitate. <laughs> I guess. These Hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the Hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons, preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form? Research is ongoing. Oh, so we don't even know if they're fully like, gone, gone. Intrigued. Jesse, over here. Hello. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, 
He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. All right, we're probably gonna have to shoot him and get his key card or they whatever. They call me the director, but that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Don't worry, as the director, we might be able to stop this hiss and get to continue participating in this fucking bizarro supernatural world. Is that the hotline? Ring, ring, ring. We've got a... We've got a phone call to answer. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. <laughs> The door to the comms department is just You're outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Okay. Well, we just got a ton of stuff. Uh, we got another personal mod. It is a health recovery mod, but this one is 20%. <laughs> versus 24%. So that also shows that there's a bit of an RNG uh, chance with these. Intriguing. Assets. We have more things that we don't have the access to. House memory, materials, missions. Unknown callers. Welcome to the house. I wonder if we're going to have any ooh, board countermeasures. Dude, this, this, this is going to be very interesting. It seems like this is a game that has a lot more going to it than I honestly thought going uh, into this. When I started up the game, and the only person you should fail is yourself. Um, what is this? Reminder, if you experience an un- Oh, we already heard this one. But yeah, when I started this, I figured we'd kind of have something very similar to uh, Quantum Break or Alan Wake, where you just kind of like a really, like there's a general linear story. And you just kind of keep going forward and forward. We're obviously still, still, still going to have that, but it's nice to have a little bit of elements that make us that allow us to stop and like talk to the people. Uh, we have our RPG elements to kind of check out, so I'm I'm intrigued. Also, is this like a board of previous directors? I can't I can't fully tell. What do we got? More house memories that I don't have access to. Okay. Let's talk. The hotline should be in the communications department. I want to find out about everything. What is the oldest house, first of all? You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. 
The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. Oh, boy. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Yeah, I can agree with that too. Wouldn't want the entire world to be taken over by whatever the hell that is. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Yeah, it is an interesting theory. I mean, clearly... I'm wondering why Trench killed himself. Did he know that doing that would allow him to resist the hiss and therefore be able to help out whoever would be the next director? Did he have a previous director talking to him? I guess we might be able to ask him later on, but we'll have to get that phone first. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Uh, Did she memorize this? <laughs> okay. Got it. I, 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 I got a little bit of that. What the fuck is the astral plane, though? And tell me more about some of those other objects. Jesus. Ah, oh, but I, I, I love this. Uh, this is so good. I love when you have these kind of like weird ass like lores or general stories, and they here's a character who can tell us all of it. She just has it all memorized. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. <coughs> well, <coughs> thanks for the thanks, information, Emily. Emily. Guess I'm we'll sure find I'll out later. I'm sure I'll soon. Just let me know. Uh, there's so many general terminologies to learn and, and backstory to find out. Things like that just make me happy. Alright. Well, we have to find the hotline, which looks to be at the top part of the map, which might be this way. Oh, look at that, there's our little circular indicator is leading us this way. Hold on. Nostalgia Department Dead Letters. What's that? What's that about? Oh, there right. it is again. It is. Our welcome message. Headshot boost? Ooh. Okay, so <coughs> there is headshot damage, and we just got a 27% damage boost to it, so, uh, hell yes. Didn't need to keep checking that out. God damn, when am I gonna get extra clearance? I'm the director! I should have clearance to everything. Ooh. Okay, this is our first, like, bloody body that we've encountered. Uh, aside from the director, that's interesting. Were these guys who had HRAs on them and then were shot by the hiss? I don't think this is a stealth game, by the way. I think we're gonna 
Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> I think we're gonna be spotted pretty damn fast. Oh, another another mod. Energy boost. Health recovery on element pickup, and then there's energy, 5%. I don't think I have anything that uses energy just yet. Travel costs. <coughs> Summary. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out uh, Aztec Court, Sleep E Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A-plus Lodge. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? <laughs> and for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get uh, two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. The boys in research that performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> That's just all the hiss agents. If I should have painted a picture of myself. Alright. <laughs> I disappear from the picture itself. Ew. Ew, dude. They took off his jaw! That's really messed up. Also, um... Hello! Fucking ominous red hall. Yep! Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With all that. Yeah, I think, uh, and I just wanted to see what was going on, but yes, the ominous red hallway, we don't want to go in there. Gotcha. Oh boy. Excuse you, my crosshair is orange, which means you should be getting hit. Oh my gosh. Give me a second, recharge right. Hiss barrier. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment, impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering, or for lowering them. Destroying the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity or destroying the hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and de density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fail. Does an in inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the his? To what degree is it watching and planning? Did I just clear out the his stuff from over here? No. No, I did not. There must have been something else down here that was uh, blocking off our our access. Oh, I was hiding this classified information in the women's restroom. <coughs> Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's st stability has been uh, stability has been downgraded to yellow. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of an unanticipated building shifts. Red. Frequent unanticipated building shifts, but if we expect the unexpected, doesn't that make it the expected? If we anticipate the unanticipated, doesn't that make it the anticipated? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think the hotline's in that room. Ah, okay, okay. The reading material flew into me, and I got real worried. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. All right. Can't find your office? Watch your step. <laughs> hey, Joe! Do you know where my office is? No, man, the building shifted an hour ago. Oh. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Let's see what happens if I shoot this. Nope, that didn't do anything. Havana Summary An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff and uh, stationed there. Blank deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. 
Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the awe, which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. Is a cowboy boot responsible for everything that's happened? What about reality and dragging your way out? <laughs> some of these, some of this babbling's pretty damn odd. Okay. Dead letters, huh? I, uh... I don't like the look of this. Those guys are bad guys. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna just walk at them. Machine God? Ooh. Dead letters. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the gods you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster, and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby, but a, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. The dialing plate on God. Is it the hotline? So this looked like it was going to be a staircase for us to walk over, but... <coughs> nope. Building shifting. This place is pretty goddamn ominous. But we'll hand anything they toss at us. Maybe. This looks like it could be very valuable, but it could just be nothing. Dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the, uh, cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows in authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain counts of genuine paranormal events, <coughs> but even the erroneous uh, ones will provide us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Dude, you couldn't have come up with a better name for this shit? Do as you're told, don't eat mold. Even the smallest amount of mold can cause serious harm. Contact security immediately. Who's eating the fucking mold? Anyways, yeah. I feel like calling an entire place dead letters. While it makes sense, what the fuck is that? Oh. Okay. I got spooked, dude. I thought he was like a creature, but he's just, he's just a dude with a big ass shield. Everybody, if you could all stop having all this blurry particle shit on you that can spook me, that'd be great. Anyways, it looks like there's a control point up there, which I'll investigate <coughs> in a second. I feel like these computers are going to end up being important, but they could just be nothing. A little bit more health is needed, thank you. Can I jump and punch? No. From what I've seen of gameplay trailers, I think we're gonna have some pretty dramatic shifts in our abilities later on. We're gonna have a lot of cool shit. Just 
just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Hmm. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Wow. <laughs> okay. Am I going to find this thing and, like, amplify its power? <laughs> Maybe not, but that's- that's pretty cute. Shatter projectile boost. A what? Projectiles fired. Exclusive to shatter. Ow. It must be, uh, one of the adjustments I can make to my weapon. I wonder when we're going to start being able to find those other adjustments. I guess we'll find out once we grab the hotline. All right, we gotta go through a <coughs> the communication department in a second. Cleanse control points to fast travel sites throughout the old cells. I'm working on it. Now that's cleansed out, no, I can't access the computers. Damn it. 